Hi everyone, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and I am here today to do another Defemerember. Today is day 14. Um, it's hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louise Heinzel. So let's look in here and see what, okay, we're on day 14, pattern and matchbook. So what I was thinking I would do is make a matchbook. Um, I don't actually, you know, like not with matches in it, but I make, um, these, um, not being able to think of the word, like where I take a bunch of my scraps like this and these just little scrappy notebooks. And so I was thinking since I make those anyways, I could make one in the matchbook style, which I haven't done before. So we'll see. I was thinking that would, that'd be fun to give it a try. And as far as the pattern goes, I was thinking I would use my mandala here, um, stencil, to um, put a pattern on the outside of the matchbook. <laughs> and I just have, what I have under here is a little be piece of um, collage fodder that, I mean, it looks super cute and all, but you know, it can always look cuter, right? And more, more detailed, more better. <laughs> um, as Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doodah says, you know, more is more. <laughs> So, um, I'm just, I like to leave them hanging off, which is why I grabbed the piece of collage butter to, um, so that way I don't have to worry about where I'm going. I won't get it on my mat. And I'm just gonna get in here with my, my brush. Oh, I moved just a little. That's okay. Just realign and then get back in there. But yeah, by having the collage fodder under there, I can just go right off the edges like that and it'll just add to the collage fodder. You know, it'll just add another layer of texture to that. So, here we go. There's one. And then we'll turn this guy a little bit so that way the extra doesn't go in the same spot. And I like to overlap them too, especially when I'm going to do multiple colors, which is what I'm about to do. I have, uh, these are close to my heart inks um, from, they're old. These are at least 20 years old, but they still work. So um, I, you know, I, I can't help but recommend these close to, close to my heart inks as long as they're still, you know, they haven't changed quali quality because they have lasted so long. Ooh, that's super bright. That's cool. Super bright purple. I always forget that the hydrangea is, it looks, it's so much brighter than what I think it's going to be. Um, and I, like I said, I really like overlapping them and doing the two-tone colors. And this one, this is my only mandala um, stencil at the moment. Um, I had another one. I used it so much because see, like this one, it's it's coming apart. This used to be attached right there, and like I think there's another point, yeah, over here that used to be attached, but um, I ruined it. <laughs> I just speed it up. I used it so much that it's just not. I had to throw it away. It was just not workable anymore. So, let me see, I'm gonna grab my black ink, and move that over here, my black brush, and let's see, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop one just right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other black, or this, not black, other purple. Um, this one's called Smoky Plum, and I really like this one, because it's like gray, but it's purple, but it's gray, but it's purple, you know, it's one of those. So... I just, I really like it. And it's, it is mixing. I didn't, I just have the one brush for all my purples. So, you know, some of that hydrangea got in there. But I don't mind that. And sometimes I'll even intentionally use more than one color on a particular stencil. But this one kind of looks like that anyways because, because of the hydrangea, you know, being on there already. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and overlap again and switch back to my, no, I want, I want to put hydrangea there. Switch to back to the hydrangea. 
can put that here. You know, and uh, these brushes, I highly recommend these brushes for, for stencil work. These makeup brushes, they work great. They get into all the little nooks and crannies without, you know, getting super weird. And so to where the daubers, I don't, I don't have very good luck with the daubers. I don't know. Maybe I'm just using them wrong and these just fit the way that I move better or something. I don't know. Um, but it's probably user error. You know, I'm not at all saying the daubers are bad. If you can get them and you can make them work and do a fabulous things, like, that's awesome. More power to you. That's just, you know, not, not in my wheelhouse, you know, but we all have our own sets of strengths, right? So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and extend this one on out since it's over the collage fodder so much. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and dab a dab of some of that hydrangea in here onto the collage fodder side. Maybe just right here on the edge. That was the, that was the smoky plum. Here's the hydrogen. Um, I know you guys probably can't see what's going on too well, but you can when I lift the stencil. <laughs> so, and I'm just gonna keep doing this, fill the page, you know. Yeah, see, so look how much cooler that that um, collage water looks now. That pattern on it. So I'm going to go ahead and line this one up here and so let's see, this one's gray and I didn't, uh, so yeah, cause my, my close to my heart black is now more of a gray and I got a new, uh, um, a new black for when I actually want black, black, but I think this one I'm going to do kind of in stripes, if you will. So there we go. We've got that the hydrangea stripe and now I'm going to add the smoky plum and then I'm going to switch brushes and grab my black or my gray in this case but you know there we go let's see can I get it a little darker maybe yeah not so much so okay you can see I slid around a little bit I don't even care. Like, it'll be fine. You know, this is just, just a background. Not a big deal. And I think this one, I'm going to go ahead and overlap pretty good, but I'm going to go kind of, kind of light, you know, start on the outside. And then as I sweep in, you know, I only have just a little bit of ink left. Um, if you're worried about your stencil moving a lot, you can totally, um, get some painter's tape or paper tape, a low tack tape, washi tape, you know, anything like that. How cool is that? Even though this was the last one to be put on it, it looks like it's under. Like that's super cool. I don't think that paper right there is cool. Just, just like that. Wait, do I have to do something to it? No, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. Go ahead and set those aside. Now, in case you haven't made a matchbook before, they're actually quite simple construction. Um, you can do them in a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different sizes. This is just, you know, one way. It's not even the only way I make them. It's just one way I make them. So I'm lining my paper up on a line over here so that way I can line my ruler up on this line over here and know that I'm gonna get a four inch straight pair. Because you do, I, I want them to be kind of, you know, good sized. I don't want them to be super small. I don't want to do like a two inch wide one. But I'm going to do, let's see, a three incher out of the middle here. Um, you know, and this really is one of those things that you can play with a lot size, with the sizing and, and, you know, make it fit your journal and your taste and your style and all that. I'm just taking two seconds to close up all my inks so that way I do not get into them. Because I'm terrible about setting my hand into the side of it <laughs> and walking around with big old ink stain all over my hand. Anyways, um, 
You could totally ink the edges if you wanted to, you know. This torn edge really, really takes a good inking really well. Um, I'm not going to worry about it this time. This glitter is just off of the collage fodder. It'll, it, some of it will stay, but most of it will probably slough off because it's not adhered. But, okay, so how you make the match, matchbook, or this is how I make them anyways, is you just fold up this little bit here. And you don't need much, you know, and it depends on, on what you're doing with it. But this part's supposed to be small in comparison. And then you want to tuck this down in. Let me see if I can get in here so you can see it really good. You're going to tuck this in so that way it's it just catches. See like that? See, it's only overlapped by like not even a quarter of an inch. You know, about the whole space, about a third as deep as you fold that. And an actual matchbook has um, a flat top. I'm not going to worry about doing that. <laughs> I have done that. It's super fiddly. Um, it's well, it's super fiddly if you don't have a scoreboard. If you have a scoreboard and you can figure out the measurements, it's really not bad. So um, I do want to take and grab my black ink again. I remember this was this is an old one that it's been replaced. So you know, for all those people out there that can't stand the idea of anybody rubbing anything on their ink pad, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it just works really well for me off of this old ink pad. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of the edges real quick. It's just most important on that front edge of the, or I think it's most important on that front edge of the little flap to give that good definition. But you can ink all of your folds, you can ink inside your folds. You know, the bottom one you don't, you're not going to see, so that one doesn't matter. Don't need to ink that one. So, but, but see how by, by adding that definition there, you can really see it, you know? And so what I would do at this point to fill it is, okay, you can, actually this one I'm just going to do the basic construction on so you guys can see. And then on the next one I'll fill it. But so all you do is you just take, or um, I like to use staples, and because I'm using small staples, I'm going to go ahead and use two on here, and you just about a third of the way up your flap. Oh, that one got a little weird, but that's okay. Um, about a third of the way up, and since I'm doing it, so, so, since it's so wide, I'm about a third of the way in as well. Go ahead and just, you know, place your staple or not. That one totally didn't work. Pull that guy out of there. I think I'm just going to switch to my actual stapler since my tiny attacher is giving me trouble. Bad tiny attacher. Let's see. Here's my regular staple. It's a little dusty. Hang on a second. Yep. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to place them in the same spots though. You know, this is just a standard, cheap, you know, regular, everyday desk stapler. And there we go. And see those staples, you can go back with some lace and cover that up, you know, if you want to. But there we go. And there's a little just matchbook. A little, and that can just, you can just tuck that in just like it is, because you can just totally write on that. You know, but then you just kind of flip it up like that. Flips open, flips closed. So there we go. And then on the, the skinnier one, I'm gonna show you how I do the, the scrappy one. So let's see, which side do I want? I want this to be my little flap. And you just want, you know, somewhere, I like to go, let's see, what is this? This is about half an inch. Yeah, it's almost exactly half an inch. Well, Let's see how much was this one. This one's a little over half an inch. So I was going to say about half an inch is good. And so, and again, you just want to overlap this by, you know, about a third to a half. You just want to make sure that when you add your staples, that you're not stapling this, which is why I usually pull it out <laughs> instead of trusting myself not to get it. But, 
and fold it like so. Open that back up. Grab my ink again. And just get that edge. I really like getting that edge on that bottom. And then I can't seem to help myself. I gotta go around the whole thing real quick. <laughs> you know, once you start inking, like it's hard to stop sometimes. You just get carried away, don't you? Okay. So, here we go. And before I add my staples, though, I would start just layering stuff in. And let's see. I'll grab my... Where is it? Where is it? My little... My little ruler. I've got my big one here, but I just think my little one would be better for this. Just a better size. And there's one of my dogs that's going to go out, but hopefully they will let me finish this first. So I'm just taking whatever, I just have a bunch of little scraps on my desk. Hang on just one second. Okay, I am back. So I'm just grabbing up whatever scraps that I happen to have on my desk here. And just keep filling it until you feel like it's good enough, you know. I like putting, um, you know, these skinny ones in here. They, they work really well. That was just a smidgen too tall. So, I'm going to make it shorter. So I'm going to stick it in the back, too. So, and then by adding, tucking this into your journal, you're, you're giving, especially if you, um, instead of doing it just whatever I happen to have on my desk like this, if you take and you keep track of the scraps for a particular journal and then you make these, it gives the person, you know, matching scraps to play with in their journal. Okay. Then carefully, carefully pick it up. And the same goes. You just, you want to, um, depending on how many scraps you put in there, you might want to add more than just two staples. Um, I think that with the size of these, the two staples will be just fine. There we go. Oh, missed that one. Okay, so it's not going in this journal. You know? And so there we go. And then we close it up, and we've got ourselves a little scrappy notebook. You open it up, and you've got these that you can tear out super easy and add them wherever. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and fold this matchbook real quick. I'm gonna put this side up. So thank you so much for joining me through these ephemera members and for subscribing. Um, and to Luis and Barbara, Louise and Barbara. I know it's not Louise, Louise. <laughs> Sorry, just misspoke. Um, thank you so much for hosting um, this open collab and being so so open about it and not making people feel like they have to follow every single prompt exactly you know I think that's awesome because I know on some of the collabs that I haven't participated in but I've heard announced they can get very do it this way you know and you guys are not like that so thank you so much uh, my I have gained quite a bit of subscribers over the last few weeks since we've been doing this. So thank you so much for all you new subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I have, I do have a little request for, for all of my subscribers is, um, you know, I know that I'm still learning and I'm not great at videos and all that yet, but if I could get you guys to watch all the way to the end of the videos that would be awesome even if you just ignore it you know you get up and you and you leave it playing or you can um i also this is something i do is when when i watch somebody's video and i've gotten to the point where i've gotten everything out of it that i want to but there's still you know five minutes left is i will um turn it up to double time speed 
and just let it play real quick. Oh, I didn't mean to get that other part. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna do this and make it look like that's what we meant to do. <laughs> right, that's what we meant to do, right, right? But yeah, watching all the way to the end really helps YouTube channels. So if you didn't know that, hope you'll start supporting, you know, not just me, but all the YouTube channels that you wanna support. There we go. Now nice, we have a nice grungy background on that one. But yeah, that watching all the way to the end really helps the YouTube metrics and pick up the channel and whatnot. So again, thank you so much and welcome to all my new subscribers and there will be more content coming um, and of different mediums. You know, I've, I've stuck with paper so far and but that's that'll be changing. Um, I have some sewing videos planned. I have some... Um, I've been playing with the idea of a vlog type channel and I don't know if I want to just do that on this channel like once a week or something or if I just want to have a separate channel I don't know I have to decide but um so yep there'll be lots more coming thank you so much